California Governor Gavin Newsom kicking off his trip to El Salvador by bashing President Trump. Newsom telling reporters, quote, right now you have a president that talks down to people, talks past them, demoralizing folks living here and their relatives in the United States. He is on a four-day trip to learn more about what's fueling the migration problem into the United States. But is he ignoring the people of his own state, some have wondered. Our next guest son, Drew, was killed by an illegal immigrant in California yeah, uh, without a driver's issue. license and no insurance. And he says the governor's trip is a total waste of time. Joining us now is Don Rosenberg, president of Advocates for Victims of Illegal Alien Crime. Good morning to you, Don. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So what is your reaction when you see your governor going down there to El Salvador and saying that he doesn't, he's criticizing the president for cutting the funding to those three countries? Well, it's a political stunt. I mean, you know, he, he says he's going down there to get a better understanding of what's going on. I think he needs to travel around California and get a better understanding of what illegal immigration has done to the state. Well, uh, I, I know your son, Drew, was killed by uh, a man from Honduras, which is one of those triangle countries, Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. Uh, and y y it should come as no surprise, though, that uh, Gavin Newsom would be doing this right now, because in his three month, first three months in office, he's fought the administration, he's sued over the wall, and he has pledged $25 million to help asylum seekers. But you live in a, in a sanctuary state. Uh, you know, this is kind of what they're all about out there, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And actually, N Newsom is one of the three people that I consider directly related to, to my son's death. He was the mayor of San Francisco when my son was killed. And it was his policy a year before that if you're in the country illegally, you can drive in San Francisco without a license. And the guy who killed my son was caught prior to... Um, um, to that and they were, they just dropped the charges let him go he continued to drive till he killed my son so so Newsom um, he's ignoring his own state and worrying about everything else he's look he's he's posturing for a run for presidency and he's you know not that he's, he's not gonna run right now but um, if Trump wins another term um, he'll be running in uh, 2024 and that's that's what he's doing right now Don has he disgusting governor I, I know you've been on television a lot talking about the killing of your son. Has the governor, now governor, ever responded to your son's case directly? No, and, and I think it was 2013. Um, I contacted, when he was lieutenant governor, I sent him a pretty long letter. I contacted his chief of staff, who promised that he would read it, and, you know, and he had nothing else to do other than to promote his book. No, um, and it's not just Newsom. No Democrats, and I was a lifelong Democrat, no Democrats will ever respond to any victims. Um, and look, if, you know what, if he hears this, he knows where he can find me, uh, aviac.us, or he can contact you guys. Um, I'll fly to Sa Sacramento in a second to sit and talk to him and try to let him understand what California's policies are doing to California. Don, listening to your story and seeing that picture of your son and being parents ourselves, I can't imagine what you're going through. And then to hear you say that you think his policy is one of the reasons your son's not here, do you feel like it sounds like his death would have been preventable or is preventable? And do you feel like the United States and our policies have let you down? How do you get through? Oh, they, they betrayed us. Um, you know, I, I've looked at probably a thousand, maybe even more cases in the last eight and a half years. And in almost every single one, and I'll say every single one, I just can't remember any that aren't, there, was, there were prior instances where the person who ended up killing an American citizen or a legal immigrant could have been detained and deported. And they were let go. And the same thing happened in mine. Like I said, the guy was caught driving without a license in June. They let him go, and in November he killed my son. And that, that's one of the, probably one of the simpler cases. So, no, our government has betrayed us. Uh, President Obama betrayed us. Gavin Newsom, every, every Jerry Brown, you know, almost every legislator in California has put illegal aliens ahead of American citizens. And the results, the results are a lot of crime and a lot of death. Yeah, well, when we saw that uh, the governor was uh, traveling to Central America, we wanted to talk to you. Don Rosenberg, thank you very much for joining us thank today you, Don. from California. Thank you for having me on.